Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. Today we're going to tackle day 7 in the city, so let's get started. It's going to be tough for me to maintain patience today, I'm not gonna lie. Reason being, this city day is the last obstacle between me and the Shale Bridge Cradle, which is what a lot of you have been waiting to see and is the highlight of the game, and for me, the highlight of the entire Thief series. I think it's the best single mission in any of the games. That said, Day 7 is no minor obstacle. First of all, Aldale is now open to us, so we have a new section of the city to explore for the first time, and on top of that, with Aldale open, that means the entire city is open to us. This is the first day that's the case. The second issue, and it's a big one, is that the enforcers are still out and still looking for us, which means that in addition to having the entire city to explore, including one area we've never been to, the streets are going to be total chaos. Finally, just because of time issues, I have not done a practice run for day seven, so you're seeing my first attempt. So things could get hairy, but let's get started. We begin in Old Quarter, and I'm gonna start things off. Just given the location in which I find myself by getting the gas arrow. Above, you common hooligan. above the passage to Fort Ironwood. Come now see that I'm getting the watch, you common hooligan? Remarks like that indicate that she believes, or the game believes, that she has spotted Garrett. Even though she clearly hasn't. Well, it looks like the enforcers have spoiled one entry in the conversation about Benny's ailment. The two of them were standing over there. We'll just wait for things to settle down. I think I can get into the tavern now. I'm gonna try. Very good. So on the table, there's a new note. The City Chronicle. Quarantine lifted. City Watch gives the all clear. The quarantine that had our city paralyzed was finally lifted yesterday, and officials report that all districts are safe and clear. When asked what we are now safe from, however, officials still declined to comment. Commissioner Blaine told a group of reporters that the quarantine had been more successful than we could have hoped for. Calling the City Watch officers who imposed the blockades heroes. Although no mention of the ghost ship was made, sources confirmed that the lifting of quarantine exactly coincided with the strange and sudden departure of the abysmal gale. Oh, we've crashed, but I know it still records my voice when it crashes, so I'm gonna reboot and I'll see you guys then. And we're back, sorry about that hiccup. The Steam version of the game quite frequently crashes when I'm trying to read documents, and that's really the only time it does it. I don't have any trouble otherwise, but let's get back to where we were. The only other thing that's in the tavern now is a ruby ring on the table next to the note I read. Pardon my hiccups, I don't know if you can hear them. <sighs> We're allowed to be in the tavern, it's not closed like the stone market one is, but I think they've pr 
probably become hostile due to the activities. We're now neutral with the Hammerite, so I don't need to worry about them when I'm out in the streets. But this Watchman could be a big problem for me. He shouldn't be there. He's supposed to have a conversation and disappear, but his conversational partner got caught up in the Enforcer skirmish over here. And so he'll never have his conversation. He'll never disappear. I'm going to have to deal with his presence, which might require me to take to the rooftops after all. Let's hope that to avoid using a water arrow on that torch. I wouldn't mind using a water arrow, but I don't know if this enfor- yeah, that enforcer's still there. But I bet I can sneak past the enforcer. Let's find out. Why, yes. Yes, I can. That wasn't bad at all. Well, now that we're inside the fences shop, the only thing we need to get out of there is the fire arrow, which conveniently respawns. Have myself a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's pick the door open again. Down, up, down, left, right, up. Almost forgot. And I need to wait for the enforcer to turn around. And leave. Now, here's a new side mission. Ramian, I got a job for you. There's a guy I just killed. The body's on the second floor of the Bloody Ears Tavern. I need someone to go to docks and dispose of the body so as no one will ever find it. Drop it in the water around there. Any water will do. There's a lot of blood that's got to be cleaned up, too. Oh yeah, here's the most important thing. Don't let anyone see you carrying the body around. Don't let nobody see that body at all, get it? Just drop it in the water and clean up the blood. It's got to get done tonight. I'll put some money in the drop box outside your place when the job is done for you to pay whoever you hire to do the dirty work. Dirk. P.S. Don't tap and mess this up. It's important. So that gives us a note telling us simply, Dirk wants Ramian to hire someone to go to the tavern in docks, grab the body on the second floor, clean up the blood, and drop the body into the water without having it spotted by anyone. He'll drop off payment in Ramian's drop box. Now, we can dispose of the body without violating any rules, but using a water arrow to clean up the bloodstains violates Supreme. But, in my mind, that's necessary to Perfect Thief this day in the city, because it gives us three gold coins in Ramian's drop box, just like we get every day in St. Edgar's from the Cothran's Armory job. So I'm going to do it. E but I'm going to call it a supreme bust when I do. So I should be able to get by Benny from here, hopefully. Without any alerts. I'm doing all this to get back into Hawkner's watch station. Because we've got stuff to get in there. City Watch Crime Report, District of Old Quarter. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of Old Quarter. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Zero items of valuable property were reported stolen. Eight locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority, signed the office of the commissioner. So, let's hope I can get in here without incident. There are two broadheads on the table, and over here on the end table is the daily bottle of expensive wine. So... Let's 
with that, I think... I think I'd like to tackle Fort Ironwood before I leave. So let's get back into the fences house. We can probably just climb straight up here. <laughs> and just wait here to get behind the enforcer. Later, bro. I have to admit, I wish I'd known how easy it would be to dodge everything up here. I would have been doing it a lot sooner. I mean, we are now inside their territory, and we are not allied with the Hammers, so we have to worry about being spotted by them again. Over here, there's a moss arrow under this tree, like usual. I want to get into Fort Ironwood the same way I did before, up on the second floor. Uh, nobody's gotten... Oh, the damn rat. <clears throat> no one's gotten into a fight with the Enforcer over here yet. Careful of the rat this time. And get up to the statue. A sensing. A sound for the treasure. Did he see me? No, he sees someone else. I'm sure of it. Damn. I was already up the wall, and then I heard the rat chitter, and then I heard him not only green, but yellow alert. I'm not sure what's going on. Let me be extra careful not to offend the rat. Now our orders are to find the betrayer and the race. Let's go ahead and wait out another cycle. There we go. Now let's climb. <laughs> and move along the edge. Should be able to silently drop onto this metal edge. Oh. Astonishingly, no one heard that. Which is good. So, let's go ahead and get in here. And have to say no in order to successfully close the door. Then back up and then tell it it's okay to go in. Fort Ironwood is much the same as before, although there's not as much loot. There's some new loot. And some that ha respawns, and some that doesn't. So... This guy is the same. But I think the other guy up here on the top level is gone. Which makes things much easier in terms of nabbing those two holy waters. I think he's overlooking the graveyard now. Strength be to thine arm. Whoa. Oh good. He was looking at his friend. 
I was gonna say, if that's his position, I might have to... I might have to head back down to the main entrance. So since we stole the Necromancer's Wand, the zombies are gone and have been replaced with one Hammerite. I don't believe there's much in here. It's just, uh... Back off and attach to the wall. And we need to get around the one Hammerite who... I have to admit to you, I'm not familiar with his patrol, but I saw him stop facing the other way, so. Oh no. Brother? All right, all right, all right, no problem. Like I said, did not practice run day seven, so I'm discovering new things as I go. I mean, I practice ran the game once, so I at least know where all the goodies are. But I've forgotten a lot of other details. So we're doing all of this to get one lousy water arrow. But, if you're out to get everything, you're out to get everything. He's a lot easier to deal with than the zombies, actually, because Good evening. Well, well. They were well. all they were all randomized. So I don't think the stuff up here respawns. Except the fire arrow definitely does. <laughs> but yeah, the loot does not. So let's get the fire arrow out of the furnace. Then let's climb back down. And with that new guard there, facing the hallway and not moving. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from our squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. I think that my best bet is going to be to head right through this door, which is now unlocked anyway, because the zombies are gone. So that's perfect, and we arrive here at the main hall. So many lost. This act bears the mark of the pagans. Verily, but how? No herby magics have that power. And what didst they hope to accomplish? There is no knowing the motives of heathens, but tis not the builder's work that much I know. New conversation. You'll notice that the coffin is gone, because we completed the little side mission. Let's get up here. Lift his wand. I believe that purse... Did I lose? <gasps> Nay, must be a thief! That purse is not... Uh, static. It's procedurally generated, so I'll ignore it. There's a jade goblet on the podium, worth 75. Then, as before, I want to make sure to only get the coins and not accidentally pick up the bowl. We're down to two copper coins in there, 25 each. And with that, I think we're ready to head to the catacombs. I'll do.
That's what I was waiting for. Of course, now. Now I've got the patroller moving around up here, so... Those who adorn themselves with god and finery do mock the builder who make up their forms. And will they regret their Hopefully choice? I can get in and out of here with no trouble. Yes, good. Who has made that noise? Okay, let's hold off. Let's let him get a little farther away. Strength be to thine arm. He didn't hear me open it, though. He only heard me shut it, so I should be able to get in here and then wait him out. Perfect. There we go. We're ready to tackle the catacombs. I'm gonna do a real save. Cause we've we've basic we've almost completely cleared old quarter. We'll just have to grab the money from the fence after we complete the side mission in the docks. So down here. Zombie can't I was gonna say the zombie can't be gone. We fixed the graveyard, not the catacombs, and sure enough, there he was. I just didn't spot him. <clears throat> okay, and down we go. There's very little to do down here now. Still gonna move left first. Get in behind the zombie to do it. Our ruby goblet has not respawned, as you can see. Oh. Dang it. Looks like I need to just hold position at the doorway to see if he turns around or completes a clockwise circle and then move accordingly. Of course, he could decide to turn left after returning from the other room as well. Anyway, arrows always respawn, so we need to get the water arrow near Lady Bafford's coffin and the fire arrow out of the catacombs furnace. My frame rate just died for a few seconds. Uh-oh. New zombies, how do you like that? Maybe I should adjust and go right first, but I'd rather go left. All you ever need is patience. But that zombie was not here yesterday, so... Or at least he didn't range this far. <laughs> Let's keep a better eye on him and see what he does. We should be safe hiding from him right here. <laughs> the 
Still here, my buddy, the haunt. Now, let's grab that water arrow. Let's hide next to Lady Baffert's coffin, and now let's try and get in behind him. Okay. Looks like the zombie that was in here is gone now, and we've got the new one out there instead. We still have the haunt making his rounds, so we have to be careful of that, but we came here for the fire arrow in the furnace, and I should probably open this again, make sure there's nothing inside. I don't know how to describe this. It's a gold lock. It's divided into sixteenths, but there's nothing inside anyway. So, after the fire arrow... Uh-oh! New haunt up here. No surprise, since we can get into the storeroom now. He doesn't have much room to move around up here. But if we can... Looks like we can get the door open, we're okay. So inside this storeroom, on the crates are... Looks like just two more broadhead arrows. On the shelves we find a bronze statuette worth 50, an explosive mine, and a gold bowl worth 125. We're almost done in the catacombs now. Indeed, almost done with Fort Ironwood. Because I don't think anything respawns in the... <sighs> Dang it. One of the zombies on the lower level has disappeared. So, I should actually probably just climb down the ladder. That sounds easier, doesn't it? I decided to do this first because Fort Ironwood is now purely a side area, especially since we have the map of the cradle already. But I don't think anything... Let me just check this room right quick to see what has respawned before I reload. Nothing in this room. There are two zombies in here. Okay, that candle is back, but it's along my exit route. I don't believe that there's anything inside the... Oh, too fast. I don't think there's anything in the lowest room that had the pivoting haunt, but I will check just to be sure. Well, now I've waited too long. Might actually be good. If I were to drop down over here, using the gloves... Well, that just seems smarter, doesn't it? So now I've got shadows all the way to the exit. I swear, if I just... If I were able to stop myself from getting wedded to one route, I'd be a lot better off. So anyway, that silver candlestick does respawn, apparently. It's worth 50. We got another zombie in here, and... I do not know if we still have a patrolling haunt up here as well. We added a new one over in that other room. The one outside the Keeper storeroom that we just got into for the first time. So if I had to guess, I would say... Yeah, it looks like the patrolling haunt up here is gone. 
We've got a zombie instead, which is lame. But, oh well. Let's see. New, another new zombie outside the elevator. No loot to grab. Our stationary haunt buddy is still here. I'm just gonna, purely for the sake of checking the room, I'm gonna kill him right quick and then see if there's anything in here. If there is, I'll reload and get it. If there's not, I'll reload and leave. Pretty straightforward. Okay, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. What about the chest? Left, left, right, left, right, right. I remember that. Nothing. Okay, good. Don't know what that hiccup was when the load bar finished filling, but... No matter. We're done now. Catacombs are clear. Time to make our exit. Which is significantly easier with only zombies to deal with, if you ask me. Especially when those zombies aren't randomized patrollers like they sometimes are. Clear of the catacombs. Let's just get back to Old Quarter through the main entrance. And then we kind of have a choice. Should I go to Stone Market and make the loop that way? Or should I go to Docks and make the loop that way? Stone Market makes a little more sense because I can actually just make a complete loop. So I think I'll do that. We have not yet been to Stone Market proper when the Enforcers are present. I warn you, it is a pain. It's probably the most irritating city area so far as the Enforcers go. But we're done in Fort Ironwood, so let's get out of here. And as I mentioned, we're done in Old Quarter except for the loot that appears after the side mission. We do have a stationary hammerite up there. And we've got an enforcer down the street. I have to be careful with both. Hopefully I can get out to the city streets without incident. I can, very good. Ah, uh, there's an enforcer guarding the exit to Stone Market. No one's gotten into a fight with him. Let's try again. I have to say, so far it actually seems less chaotic. The enforcers seem to be in pretty well-defined places that are out of the way of everyone else. I doubt that'll hold up, but maybe it will. We can hope, right? Let's try a wall flatten. Until we have the pipe as hard cover. And let's try another flattening. Our orders are to find the betrayer and the erase. Good, we can stay wall flattened all the way past him. Well, not quite. But we can get by him with no alerts. Now I'm gonna save on this side just because I have had trouble. Big trouble. Uh when we find Garrett, actually do not hesitate. He has keeper training. Shut up. I've had big trouble at the spawn point, so you want to save on this side, just in case. Do this 
As you can see, it dropped me right in view of everyone. But there's a fight. There's a fight starting now, so let's head over here first. Now that the Hammerites aren't hostile, clearing this side should be easier. But there's an enforcer here, of course. Anyway, get the moss arrow out of the tree. Cothran's armory has its usual two broadheads. Plus, up, right, left, to get at the silver coins in the safe. Let's wait for this fight to settle. No! How did you find me? I was gonna say, I thought I heard someone coming over here. Oh my, oh my. What's that? Am I hearing things? Over there this time. I'm gonna wait until I hear fewer people out there. That just seems like a good idea. Hey! You have to interfere! Build your gun! Ah! Extremely painful! Proceed with the search for the betrayer. Let's just try and get out the door right quick. Yep, the Enforcer won, so let's wait. Let's let him get down the street before we open the door. Well, actually, he didn't hear me open it, so let's move out. Then <laughs> let him get down the street before we shut it. That should be good. Very good. We still need to get that gas arrow, as usual. Oh, with the enforcer's back turned. Scamper up the wall and grab it. And head into the stonecutter's house. Well, the streets are nice and clear. In here we have the usual pile of silver coins, ruby, and upstairs we have the copper ring. So let's head out this main door now. I won't lie, I'm a little nervous, but I think it should be okay. Huh? Something funny going on? Dead? How did this happen? Forget uh, it. Nope, there's a watchman. Hey, 
Based on the look I got at the streets, I think I might be better off heading back the way I came to the spawn point and then heading left. The watch will protect my business from you. Okay. Maybe the balcony exit. trouble is everybody's more alert than usual because of the chaos so where I could normally probably get away with a green or with no comments at all watchmen are instead going full-on yellow Well, it's good to know the civilian wasn't alerting to me, even though the enforcer locked on to me as soon as I walked out. Let's try this again. He's recoiling from the enforcer, so... Hello? Somebody... there? I'm a merchant, you know. A very dangerous merchant. Hmm. I was sure something was there. Maybe they left when I started looking. What did he see? He, ah! he couldn't have seen me, could he? Gotta keep going! Please, don't hurt me! The murderer is after me! Oh great, he ran right into me. This is why I hate the enforcers, everyone. The good news, of course, is that we're done with them after two days. These are the only two days when we have to deal with them, but... Alright, no one's alerted to me so far. Let's see what happens with the civilians and the enforcer this time. I hope she starts moving eventually, but she probably doesn't. <sighs> yep, and she still thinks I'm a bad guy, so... I need to try and get somewhere where they won't bump into me. Like she seems to be doing. Oh my! I'm getting the watch for this, you common hooligan! Okay, well, she's right where she was the first time. Hasn't seen me, which is good, but... I 
And why is she running back here? Things I don't understand. See, if I move, they alert to me. Because it, you know, they're in full combat mode already. Good grief, but I wish the Hammerites had won the fight. She seems to be frozen in place. Oh my! Someone At least get once the she watch. gets here. And she keeps heading right to this spot and freezing. <laughs> she tracks the enforcer. I think this is a better spot to be in. What I'd like to do is get back into the stonecutter's house if I can, because this has turned out to be a bad idea. I think this might be a better bet. Sounded almost like... Good grief! It's like the balcony might be my only choice, but people are hearing me open the door. Everyone finally gets the courage to move, to run away from the enforcers. Right when... Well, let's unlock this door at least. Right, left, left, right. Having it unlocked has to be better than the alternative. He yellow alerted to the door opening. Apologies, folks. I am getting highly frustrated, if you can't tell. Because no one seems inclined to kill the enforcers. What? Really? If you'll pardon my f swearing, what the fuck was that? Seriously. Dude just came after me for no reason. He, I order you to stop. He can't know that I'm here. But the game is bringing him right to me in full combat mode. And now what? Is he gonna be here forever? Am I down to the balcony as my only choice? 
He certainly doesn't seem- Oh well, mm. if no one's here, then there's nothing I can do. Alright, well at least he's settled and... Despite his crazy proximity to me, you can tell by the fact that he didn't attack, that he never... Plus the fact that he just came in here out of the blue when I hadn't done anything. That tells us that I wasn't actually seen or heard, but the way these things go... It